gonna fly into that, aren't we? They say that the rings of Maku 4 perpetually rain fire down upon the godless abominations that dwell below. How fun. <laughs> I'm sure it's worse than it looks, too. It is. Many of my people braved this same treacherous pilgrimage before me, never to return. Well, Quo Parks, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> we were not fated to die this day. <laughs> Unless, of course, Fin Fang Foom devours us whole. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whoa, 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 we gotta find him first. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> oh, this is insane. This is how we park, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! That definitely shouldn't be sparking. We can worry about that after we catch our dragon. <laughs> and convince Lady Albender to help us bust the church a new one. Before setting out on our quest, let us rouse our spirits with a Katapian battle anthem. What? Like now? You know what? Flark it. Let's do it. Now listen closely. Ancient Katathian is a powerful tongue with words that hold great meaning. Thought we could use it if we ever need to hide our identity during a job or something. First of all, a Glarnot mask ain't no identity. Glarnot? They're that gang from the Planet of the Rain's Emeralds or something, right? Or am I confusing them? It's diamonds. 
Oh, yeah. And B, there's only two jobs I've ever needed a mask. The time me and Groot knocked over a top secret lab. Really? Oh, yeah. The other time is when I borrowed a Glarnot mask and accidentally stole Groot from the collector. How'd you accidentally steal Groot? You have to understand, Quill. I was on the run back then. The war was still raging strong, and them Kree scientists weren't exactly happy I left Halfworld. I had to keep a low profile. By robbing the Collector? I was broke! And no offense, but the way the Collector plasters his face all over nowhere like he owns the place... He doesn't own the place. Someone had to knock him off his stupid flarkin' pedestal! Ah, the fact that I was drunk when I did it just makes it funnier. Is there a, a bounty out for you that I should know about? Relax! Anyways, I lifted one of them stupid Glarnot masks from some passed out jerk at Mantlos, stumbled my way to the Collector's Emporium, put on the mask, flashed some shiny rocks I found, and when his assistant's back was turned, I punked him on the head. <laughs> oh, you're unbelievable. I know. It was gravy after that. Once I was sure he was out, I started cleaning out the place. Woke up the next morning on a stolen transport with a bag of loot and Groot. Uh, of course, he was just a baby back then. Barely taller than a weed. Aw, baby Groot. I knew right then and there that I had to take care of him. A cage ain't no place for guys like us. We've been partners in crime ever since. That, I believe. Eh, believe what you want, Quill. Truth is truth. When did you guys rob a secret lab? Eh, it was before we came after you. This Signog named Wheeler reached out to me and group. Wanted us to steal a bioweapon from some research lab in Arago 7. Piece of cake for a crack team like me and Groot. <laughs> wait, wait, and Groot wore a mask for this? <laughs> Man, you should have seen him, Quill. Bark naked except for the stupid mask of Thanos. It was flarkin' hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I bet. That was until we realized the eggheads on Arago actually hired Wheeler to get us there. Uh, six out of ten times, it's a trap. Yup. Turns out they wanted to study us. My implants, Groot's regeneration, super valuable to the right bidder. By the time I realized what was up, they'd got Groot. Locked him in a frickin' cage, Quill. Like an... like an animal. Ugh, that's... terrible. Yep, well, joke's on them. We weren't about to be turned into science experiments anytime soon, so I went with plan B. One explosive charge later, and ba-boom, we were home free. <laughs> and the bioweapon? Sold it back to Wheeler for triple the price. Nice. Yep. <sighs> Those were the days. I'll just put this back. I am Groot. Yeah, I think the environment controls are alright. Why? I am Groot. Oh yeah, the garden. I'm sure your plants can handle a little breeze. Don't worry. I am Groot. Sure, the ship systems are in bad shape, but I think we'll be able to take off. I am Groot. We'll figure out how to pull the giant dragon later. Who knows? Maybe it's really light. Like a bird with hollow bones. Dragons can fly, right? Wano isn't gonna self-destruct or anything while we're gone, right? How many times do I gotta tell you? The ship probably ain't equipped with self-destruct systems. All set to take on Foom Rocket? They say that a single one of his claws is bigger than a fully grown man. Considering how those legends about Hellbender turned out, that dragon's probably as tall as Groot. All good, buddy? I am Groot. Ready for our biggest battle yet? I am Groot. He was more worried about us killing each other over the past few cycles. I knew this day would come. 
I was destined to battle the Dragon Lord of Kakaranthara. Bet you didn't think you'd be fighting him with this team of a-holes. I did not. But I am thankful fate has granted me this honor. Despite your best efforts, you are an honorable man, Peter Quill. Thanks, Drax. We're gonna pull this off. I know it. Of course. We have to. For Nikki. Ever fought a dragon before? Sounds fun, actually. Not only in the arcade. That's good enough, right? All right, let's do this. <laughs> Shivering tit wishes it's cold. <laughs> That's not really how that saying goes. You want to correct me? Or you want to find Fing Fang Foom and save the galaxy? I want Fing Fang Foom. And the galaxy saving thing, I guess. Assuming Hellbender even goes for this. Lady Hellbender will go for it. Okay, well, I ain't seeing no boom poop. We should look for Katathian hunt markers. Testaments to the bravery of those who came before. By bravery, you mean glorious death. And what do these hunt markers look like? Like great stakes planted with honor. Oh! <laughs> the legends of raining fire are true. Any other legends we should know about? Legends of glorious death. Well, as long as it's glorious. Okay, well, I ain't seeing no foom poop. We should look for Katathian hunt markers. <laughs> the legends of raining fire are true. Any other legends we should know about? Legends of glorious death. Well, as long as it's glorious. <laughs> Watch out! We did not come here to be slain by ice and rocks. There's only one noble way to die on Mark IV, like so many of my people before us. Someone remind Drax we ain't come here to die! No one's dying! We're taking Foom alive. We're handing him over to Lady Hellbender alive. And we're getting her to help us take on the Church's Armada. So in this plan of ours, the Armada part is where we die? Uh, maybe, but definitely not before that. All right, Drax, let's channel some of that excitement toward this rock. Ah, I shall pretend it is the head of Fin Fang Foom. Great. Drax just shattered the skull of the thing we're supposed to capture. Bye-bye, galaxy. I am Groot. Groot says he wants to take it all in. Take your time, buddy. Might be your last chance to take anything in. Think Foom's in there? If fantasy books taught me anything, it's that dragons love to hang out inside mountains. I am Groot. Groot wants to know if those books said anything about catching dragons. I'm sure it had something to do with teamwork and trust. <laughs> you can't remember the details because you didn't read the whole thing. I read a lot of different dragon books, okay? And there was always a mountain, and the good guys always win. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no one writing a book about us. I think I see something up ahead! Look, my people were here. Didn't we see these in Drax's memories when Mantis linked us all together? They're Katathian hunt markers. That's a lot of brave Katathians. After Thanos raised Katath, my people were left broken, physically and mentally. Their exodus led many of them here in great numbers. Uh, so how many of these hunters came back? None. They were all victims of Fing Fang Foo? Not victims. They came for the ultimate battle. A truly glorious death. Is it just me, or does it feel like we're a part of something here? Oh yeah! Part of Foom's all-you-can-eat buffet. I mean walking in the footsteps of Drax's people, out here to save the galaxy. Makes you want to believe in destiny. I'm not trying to kill the moment or nothing, but everybody listed here was destined to be monster chow. If we all die, we will die like proper Katathians. If we all die, everyone dies. Magus is gonna consume everything. Then let's catch Foom and make sure that doesn't happen. If we fall... Okay, team. If we can't make quick work of this thing, then we got no right going after the big bag boom. 
Well said, Peter Quill. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much bigger and stronger and scarier is Foom going to be than the thing we just fought? 10,000. That's what I figured. No one said this was going to be easy, Rocket. Obviously, our chances of pulling this off suck. A lot. But what chance does the galaxy have if we don't pull it off? Exactly. We all saw what the church is capable of. No matter what this planet throws at us, we're not stopping till we catch Boom and Lady Hellbender is fighting by our side. I once heard that Fin Fang Foom is the runt of the litter. He's even got one brother that's way bigger than him. I have never heard this story. Gamora, I'm thinking I can get a pretty good vantage point from the top of this thing. Okay, just be careful, Peter. I can see the whole crater from up here. Maybe Foom's not in the mountain after all. Maybe he's down there somewhere. You tell us. I mean, if I were a dragon, I'd definitely want to stop around down there. The legends do tell of Fin Fang Foom stalking Mako's greatest caldera. Good enough for me. We can probably work our way around the edge and find a way down. You're up, Rocket. I'll pass on that. Let me hear those three words, Groot. This place has way too many caves and crevices, probably filled with nasty surprises. Fortunately for us, we travel with the nastiest of all surprises. <gasps> Flark and Hala! Whoa, get a load of them claw marks. Let's just say we do catch Fin Fang Foom. We're just gonna drag him all the way back? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we need to cross here, too. Okay. I'm thinking this is step one of a multi-step solution to get across this chasm. All right, and what are the next steps? Still working on that part. I could clear the rubble from that ledge, Peter Quill. I just need something to throw. How about Quill? <laughs> Come on, it's not so bad. This fleshy frame would make a poor instrument of demolition. So 
So just how big is Foom's skull throne? Legends say it is visible from space. Okay, but how far out in space? Maklu's immediate atmosphere? The legends do not specify the distance. Final step, Drax. If we can topple some of those rocks, we got ourselves a- ah, ah, ah! Glorious! I swear, I've never seen you in such a good mood. Because you have never seen me on the Great Hunt before. What about our quarantine zone mission? Drax, I know you've been waiting for this a long time. Enjoy it, man. Thank you, Peter Quill. I must admit that with everything that has happened, I need this. Yeah, well, maybe if we'd listened to you from the start and just gone after Foom... Then we'd probably be dead. So we're ready right for I was born ready. Right Everyone get ready! There's something up ahead! I'm pretty sure it sees us, whatever it is. Great! More foam food to deal with! Do not underestimate anything that survives the perils of this planet. Good advice. through a moment. Since when is that a thing we do? What if we're too late? What if Raker finishes what he started and the ritual... Then we're doing all of this for nothing. Not for nothing. If our final act is to challenge Fin Fang Fu, it will be an honorable final act. Eh, I don't do final acts. I'm a survivor. Let's hope we are not too late. All right. Let's figure out a way to get through here. There. See? More... Ominous peaks. This planet's starting to give me the creeps. I keep thinking Foom's gonna claw us from behind. Fin Fang Foom is a legendary beast. Legendary beasts do not claw from behind. Maybe not. But smart ones do. Let's see those vines, Groot. I'm Groot. My sister used to paint places like this. Hell worlds? Frozen landscapes. You expect me to believe that Nebula, scourge of a hundred worlds, liked to paint pretty pictures? They weren't pretty. They were sad. You mind, Gamora? No way! Gas. How do you know? Hello? She's an assassin? So here's an idea. Why don't we lure Boom into one of these gas caves? Knock him out. Power thing. I want full credit. Last We're not killing Fin Fang Boom. We're catching him to give the Lady Hellbender so she forgives us and hopefully helps us fight the church. Are you neck deep in water? We're about to stare down a legendary dragon with the fate of the entire galaxy at stake. I ain't gonna hold this up. Wow. I'm impressed. You really conquered your fear. Yeah, well, it ain't about me no more.
Bust it up, Drax. I shall render it rubble. Instead of giving her boom, any chance, lady? Let's make it fall. It will give way under my might. <laughs> nice! Who won't know what hit him? You will be more resilient than a boulder. I know. I'm just trying to be positive. Why? I think it's a team building thing. We require no further team building. if he doesn't live up to all the hype. <laughs> Assuming we live that long. Peter, look! There's smoke ahead. Think it's Foom? More likely it's people. Great. Maybe they'll know where he is. Or they'll attack us on sight. I could probably infiltrate the camp, look for weak links, make an example of the right person, bleed them out in front of their crew. The shock of it will cause confusion or maybe even surrender. Then we carve through the rest. Hey, uh... Is everything okay? We didn't really talk after your, um... The killing my sister thing? Yeah, and other tangential topics. I'm fine. Ish. Okay. <sighs> Peter, there's a good chance Nikki's already lost. No. I don't accept that. And if she is, I know I'll be the one expected to make the hard call. She's my daughter. But I'm the killer. We both know that. It's not gonna come to that. And if it does? If it's a choice between her and literally everything else, Peter, you'd do anything for someone you care about. And we both know that I... We both know that you would as well. Which is why you're exactly who I need to bring my girl home. Alive. I hope you're right. So <laughs> Soltath! Foom! It's Foom! Yes! Or going to Just go in a huge Larkin rock! Yes! Yeah, Ominous is right! Pelmafin Sardut! Here goes! I don't like this! Ah. Accelerating! 
Also really terrifying. Hello? We're looking for Fin Fang Foom, you seen him? Big wings, nasty teeth. Purple shorts. What do you mean purple shorts? What, I heard he wears purple shorts. Ancient legends do tell of such a thing. See? This one. <sighs> Let's see those things in action. I'm on it. Good thing that rock tried to murder us, or we'd have never got Will Sweet new power. We felt that one too. And that one. weird gun you have that turns people inside out. Oh yeah. I am so jealous right now, Quill. You should be. What is that? Come on, Rocket. We got past your fear of water. Step aside, mortals. Allow the Meltonator to do his mighty work. That's a terrible name. Huh? You got a better one? Petey Hot Guns. No! Captain Fireball. Not even a fireball. It's more like a uh, heat glove. Captain Heat Glove. Nope. No. would work back there. They've saved us three times already. I mean, how did you know they'd melt that ice wall? Oh, uh, I... So we could have just as easily died horribly. Yep. <gasps> Let me go! What the flark? It might be his name. Maybe he's trying to communicate. Please don't. sound a little irritated. Nope, there was definitely hatred in that voice. Ha! <laughs> Always the charmer, Quill. Check out these pointy trees. Don't check them out too closely. Ah! It burns! Root says they've got corrosive spores. Maybe don't get too close. Twisted way. The trees are indeed twisted. Well observed. Fruit <laughs> says the plants here are all mean or stupid.
golden boy is getting tortured right now? Burn, baby, burn! <laughs> nice! I ain't ever gonna get tired of that. Fruit says those plants deserve it. Yeah, I think we've earned a vacation. Preferably on a normal planet where nothing's trying to kill us. With nowhere and contracts you're wrecked, all of our favorite drinking holes are gone. The Milano is still intact. Mostly, yeah. I'm done playing with the snow monkeys. Wendigo. Is that really what we're calling them? Hey, they're the ones who keep yelling Wendigo. Wendigo! See? Sounds like we haven't seen the last of them. <clears throat> We'd better not get stranded out here. This cold is deadly. Eh, we can always burn Groot. Rocket! What? He used to do it for me all the time. Maybe Hellbender will want to add some of those Wendigo to her army. Assuming they don't hold a grudge. Wendigo! Wendigo! So much for not holding a grudge! Or Their zoo? Looks more like a dinner plate. Well, let's make sure we don't end up on the menu. This looks 
reminds me of our monster hunt in the prohibited area. Yeah, you think we just turned on a thumper? Can we kill any faster? It's the black hole! Facing Goliath, we can win. Who's with me? I suspect well, so I much for leadership. now or seek revenge think that wreck is the camp we saw nah, this thing has been here for ages look the smoke's coming from the other side of it we're close but we're gonna need to get up there oh please 
It's probably the least dangerous thing on this planet. It's just a big hunk of scrap. All right, Groot, give me a boost. I am Groot. About yay high. Yay is not a unit of measurement. Groot knows what he means. These snow beasts have wet my appetite. I am eager to slay the great Fin Fang Fu. Capture Drax. All right, heads up. I'm gonna drop something down for you guys. I'm fine, just itchy. It's the stash that I see. Look out below! Ha! That'll work! You think those creatures were using this ship for shelter? Screw them, they're dead. Here, give me a hand. We should be ready. We don't know the source of that smoke. Or hostiles. Maybe you just a nice warm fire and some cigar and spirits. Uncharacteristically optimistic for you. What can I say? Maybe Quill is rubbing off on me. Or maybe it's just so cold my brain has got the mush. Extreme cold would not render your brain mush. More likely it would solidify. Just what I need. A literal brain freeze. <laughs> Numb and sleepy is what people say right before they freeze to death! Whatever it is, it smells... Bodies. It smells of bodies. Jeez. Was all this foom? Undoubtedly. Who goes there? No head. She has no head. I believe that repulsive tentacle orb is her head. And I can hear you with it. Are you the only survivor? Clearly not. Who are you, Meat Sacks? We're here for film. Forget what I said. Yeah, I'm the only survivor. Or will be. I take it you know where we can find him? Sure. Digesting my men back at his roost. Big Eyes Obelisk sticking out of the Caldera's frozen sea. Don't worry, we'll take care of Foom. Sure you will, Terran. Just don't come running back here when he chases you. I've still got some things to pack up. Are you gonna be okay? I don't need your pity, Terran. I'll head back to Contraxia and lick my wounds. Ooh, hey, you may not want to do that. Contraxia isn't exactly safe right now. <laughs> when is it ever? Seriously, maybe you should just come with us. I've been embarrassed enough today without taking help from a stranger. I can look after myself. Well, if you hear people talking about a promise with a matriarch, just steer clear. I'll keep that in mind. Sorry about your men. Eh, dead men collect no paychecks. Speaking of, aren't you the Mad Titan's daughter? What of it? Relax, I'm not looking for trouble. There was a time I'd have taken you in for the bounty. There was a time I'd have killed you for trying. <laughs> yeah, seems we've both got bigger problems right now. Seems like. on taking down Foom? Yeah, don't try. That bad? My men barely scratched his armor. Great, he has armor. You better have some serious firepower if you're gonna take on the King of the Ice Planet. Um, any of you corpses mind if I help myself to your stuff? No? Well, thank you. May as well put it to good use, right? They ain't using it.
Here's hoping we do better against Foom than this lot. Another hunt marker? This one is unclaimed. No doubt it belonged to one of these corpses. Guess they never got the chance to plan it. I've appropriated it for our own use. To herald our bravery this day. Shall mark our ultimate conquest, or our glorious defeat. Foom may be bad news, but he's nothing compared to the fight that comes next. And it shall mark our penultimate conquest. One conquest at a time. Big ice thingy on the frozen sea, eh? I am Groot. You said it, buddy. Sure is a long way down. Alright, people. Let's catch us a dragon. Yes. We grow ever closer to our great destiny. You're awful, Chipper, considering Foom obliterated that camp like it was nothing. We are not nothing. I'm with Drax. No mountain too high, no valley too low. Literally. In the case of this place. Whoa! Hey, Pete! The ice is amplifying our velocity! This is how I die! All right, people, let's catch us a dragon. Yes, we grow ever closer to our great destiny. You're awful, Chipper, considering Boom obliterated that camp like it was nothing. We are not nothing. This is amplifying our velocity! This is how I die! Come <laughs> on! If you forget it's incredibly dangerous, it's actually kind of fun! Indeed! Let us meet our death bemused! <laughs> That takes care of the getting down part. I don't even want to think about how we're going to get back up. Or how we're going to get Foom up there. Look on the bright side. We may be dead. Back on Earth, people would use dog sleds. A whole line of huskies pulling a sled across the ice. He was actually thinking of the Wendigo. And Foom is the sled. That's the craziest idea I've ever heard. Yeah. I love it. We've still got to patch up the- Milano. Eh, she'll be alright. I quill-proof the underbelly after Seknar. He's got a knack for wrecking stuff. Ooh, I didn't think it could get any colder. You know, it's days like these. I'm glad I installed seat warmers in the Milano. Up ahead, there's the ice obelisk. This must be it, the frozen sea. This is the perfect spot. Here we will challenge the great beast. Fin Fai Foom, come and face your death. What are you doing? We can't get the drop on him if he knows we're here. Also, we're not killing him, remember? Shout with me. Here we demonstrate our mettle. Fin Fang Foom, your end draws near. Nope, not his end. Your quill, go. Uh, fin Fang Foom, it's nap time. Rocket. Okay. It's your turn! Did he just say my real name? Rocket! Fin Fang Foo! We're gonna decomboggle your flock and scut spigots! You hear me? Just through here. Be ready for anything. That is technically impossible. Prepare yourself, Fin Fang Foo. You face your final moments. Not. Final. Capture a lot.
So, uh, where is he? Maybe we spooked him. Impossible. Foon was born without fear. You don't know that. In the cold heart of a dying star. Dying stars ain't cold. This one was. You think his lair's behind that? Let's find out.
get, little buddy! Namura! Run them through! Put their lights out! Clint, I can't breathe! Oh, We're fighting a dance. dragon! Flesh does not dent! We seem to be making him matter! So that's progress! We screwed up. We conned you. Robbed you. Killed your... baby. We can't take back what we've done. But we want to make it right. Uh, Quill... Murdered the Dragon Lord of Kakarandara!
brought the two of us together. Lord Foom. The final harvest begins. Dead worlds screaming across space. We must go. Now. Someone needs to take a stand against the church. We could really use some help. You pay one debt, then create another? No, though I can kind of see... Enough. I will gather my forces. All right, let's go. 